Shalom, peace. It's your boy, the targeted lion. My brothers and sisters, especially my brothers in this video, for my men of God, my, my real ones, we got to talk about the, the war on the masculine men, part two, because I did a video before. Okay, so being a man in these days will get you hated. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah out here, how even uh, the men lusted after each other. Right. And they try to even have sex with the angels. Right. This is a perverse, wicked time that we live in where the homosexual agenda is prominent. And anybody that stands for Jesus Christ, Yahshua, that is a masculine man of God, is hated and tested everywhere he goes. They take what is righteous and what is pure from God and pervert it. Right. So look at all this LGBT community, all this um, transgender, and it's being um, shown to children and little boys are, uh, they're trying to promote this. You understand? They're trying to feminize the men. Everywhere I go, my brothers and sisters, everywhere I go, my brothers, all these jobs, you know how many jobs I lost and that I had to quit because of this? Think, of, think about this, man. When I walk in, <laughs> sniffing, <clears throat> coughing, clicking with the pen, you know what I mean? You got men, right? Men. Flipping their hair at me like women, you know, they, 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 it's, it's my brothers and sisters. When you, my brothers, when you stand for Jesus and you a man, they're going to hate you just for being a man, just for being masculine, just for standing for Jesus Christ. You know, there is a war on masculine men. Why do you think that these NBA players, these, these rappers and all these people are wearing um, dresses and things like that? They're promoting that homosexual agenda. They're glorifying what is wicked. They're glorifying evil and sin. You understand the Bible says in the, uh, in the end times, in the later days, good will be called evil. Evil will be called good. So men are acting like women. Men are feminine and women are being masculine. Men, women are trying to be like men. You, you, you understand that these companies and these places that we work for will be get persecuted. It's ran by women. And homosexuals, mostly, you know, and if you say something, if you stand up for yourself or you say something about homosexuals or you know what I mean, or transsex, you're going to get fired off the rip because most people are with the with that wave. Most people are wicked. Most people are 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 sexually perverse. And whew, I just walked into a place just now. There was two girls, one homosexual. I walk in, they automatically recorded me. I could hear them gossiping and talking. They slam in the cash register hard, trying to make me afraid. They make noises and things to try to test you, test your manhood, as if I'm supposed to, you know what I mean? Like, as, 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 as if I'm supposed to be afraid, as, 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 as if I'm supposed to, you know, be startled. They always trying to test your manhood in these days because the world is against. What is righteous? They're against the word of God. But you know we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but of principalities. What that homosexual spirit is, whatever, any perverse sexual spirit, it's wicked. It is a wicked spirit. And it is possession. These, these people allow that spirit to possess them because they reject the word of God. They reject what is righteous. So in these times, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah, my brothers. We got to put up with the, being harassed and tested and tried everywhere we go by women. Women do it a lot. Men do it too. Homosexuals do it, you know, and it's everywhere. You know how many jobs I got fired from or let because I was being harassed, sniffing, <clears throat> coughing, people flipping my hair. You know, men looking at me like it, 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 in an uncomfortable way, you know, and if I say something, then I'm wrong. If I speak out, you know what I'm saying? It's a war on masculine men. They hate you for being natural for being the way God wants you to be. They're trying to pervert. You know, they always talking and gossiping and testing you and trying you and, 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 and trying to project that wickedness on you, trying to feminize you, my brothers. They trying to feminize the real ones, man. It ain't going to work with the real ones. Those that stand for Yah and, Jah and Jesus Christ, Yahshua, you can't break us, you know, you, but what you can do is try to make us angry. You know, y'all that know me, you know, I, I, I posted my boxing channel. Y'all know I get down. I get busy with the hands. And you know how many people, like, I'm from the struggle. I'm from the bottom. You know, I'm from, I, trust me. Sometimes I want to fight. As a man, right? 
the first thing that you want to do when someone tests you, tests your manhood, is you want to fight. You ready to fight. You ready to brawl. You ready to get it in. But nah, we if, if we standing for Jesus and Yahshua, we got to turn the other cheek. And I have done it, my brothers. I've done it, but I know how hard it is when when these feminine men come near you and 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 they testing you and trying you, making noises, talking, you know. And the women do the same thing, gossiping, talking, testing you, trying you. When you just walking through the store, when you just trying to do your job, and they talking, they gossiping, they making noises everywhere. This happen, and y'all know what I mean. The real ones, my real ones, y'all know what I mean. You can't go nowhere without being tested and tried. You know, I had my brother Jay, man, he got a wife, a kid. He just lost the job because the same thing, this 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 evil homosexual agenda, this war on the masculine men, this needs to be talked about. I'm not afraid to speak out. Who's going to train the children in the way they should go when they're older, they won't depart from it? These little boys are being shown little Nas X and being read books by transsexuals, you know? But they're they going to hate, they gonna hate on me because I'm a boxer, you know, because I like to box, you know? Now that doesn't mean I'm violent. I haven't been in a fight in years. We need to teach these kids about how to be, teach these boys how to be men. You know, stop listening to little Nas X. You know, I seen David Lynn, a great brother in Christ, a preacher from Canada, I believe. I believe his name is David Lynn, and he he did a uh, a baptism, and he was preaching, and the LGB community came out crazy, like a bunch of them yelling, screaming, cursing at him, throwing things at him. Um, um, what else did they do? Um, they were barking. They were barking at him like dogs. You understand how demonic and wicked that these people are? These people that stand for what is evil and hate what is righteous. They reject the word of God. They reject the Bible says homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. And this is not me attacking homosexuals because every sin is equal in God's eyes. I'm not, But what I'm saying is it's prevalent right now. It's something that is very common in the world, everywhere you go. And you know what I mean, my brothers and sisters. And I'm sure, I'm sure it goes for sisters too. I'm sure that there is lesbians and, and you know, people, women that are trying to act manly and, and God, psh, the Bible says good will be called evil, evil will be called good. I think in the later days, in the end times, and that's exactly what's happened. It's being glorified to be homosexuals. It's being glorified to be transgender. It's being, um, promoted and, and and glorified, but being a man, being a man of God, standing for Jesus Christ and being masculine gets you looked down upon. It gets you hated. Look what happened to Andrew Tate for exposing the feminist agenda, right? They're going to make up a false accusation and try to get him locked up. You see what I'm saying? Like when you speak truth, you speak out, you're going to get hated. So my brothers, man, and sisters, this world is sexually perverse. It is so disgusting. It is so hard when you're trying to live righteous. And I hope that y'all understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to attack I'm not trying to attack homosexuals and transgender people, but it is not righteous. It is not what is pure and right what God made. He made you the right way and he, people get possessed and perverted and the devil lies to them and they become wicked like this. We have to speak out against this. This is against the word of God. We are getting harassed and um tested and hated and fired and and persecuted for being men when all these men are feminine and and wicked you know their their spirits are evil and they're testing us everywhere we go so being a man of god is the strongest thing that you could be my brothers all my real ones the ones that been through hell that been tested and tried but still stay strong still keep the word of god in your heart and mind Yo, I know how it is, my brothers. I know that these, I know that this this evil feminine spirit is trying to attack all, all the men of God. They're trying to um feminize us. They're trying to make us become like the rest of them. But all my real ones, they can't, they can't make us bow down to the world. They can't make us be like them, you know, but what they can do. Is try to make us be prideful and, and, and punch one of these people or become angry, become violent. And that's what they want. They want to provoke us to anger. You know how many times I had to turn the other cheek, my brothers and sisters? Y'all know, I just told y'all about my boxing channel. You know what I'm saying? I get down and busy, but I just want to, I want to promote 
what is righteous, my brothers. To all my other mas masculine men, to all my men of God that stand against evil and perversion and wickedness. Shalom, man. God bless you. Stay strong. My sisters as well. We This needs to be spoken about and it needs to be exposed for what it is. It is sin. It is wicked. It is not righteous to live like this. It's not righteous to participate in these evil acts. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah. And uh, it needs to be speaking about speaking about it needs to be spoken against and you know the righteous are as bold as a lion i'm not afraid to speak the truth man who the sun sets free is free indeed man these people need deliverance man we need to pray for them we need to be casting demons out of these people you know but uh, i mean sure they gonna hate you you know look what david lynn did man that's why it just feels like if the world hated you just know what hated me first you're gonna be hated for standing for what's right you're gonna be hated for being a man of god just being a man is going to get you hated. But that's how you know you're on the right side, my brothers. When you stand for what's right, when you don't bow down to Satan's systems, when you don't compromise your integrity and morals as a man, they're going to hate you. But it's a blessing. We persecuted for Christ's sakes. Yahshua, Jesus Christ is Lord, man. Stay strong, my brothers and my sisters as well. Targeted lion, man. We always strong. The righteous are as bold as a lion. We could do all things through Christ who strengthened us. In this world, we'll find tribulation. We'll be of good cheer. He, will, he has overcame the world. Can't wait to go home, my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name, Yahshua. Shalom.